Book's Law? Oh man, that sounds like some kind of superhero with elastic powers. But nope, it's actually about springs and how they act. Basically, it says that if you stretch or squeeze a spring, the force you use is directly proportional to how far you stretch or compress it. So if you pull a spring twice as far, you need twice the force. Simple, right? The official formula is F equals sine KX. F is the force you're applying, K is the spring constant, which tells you how stiff the spring is, like a tougher spring has a bigger K, and X is how far you stretch or compress the spring from its normal length. It's like the spring's way of saying, hey, don't pull me too far or I'll snap. Imagine you have a slingshot, or a pogo stick. When you push down or pull back, the spring inside is storing that stretchy energy by following Hooke's law. The more you stretch it, the harder it pushes back. But be careful, if you stretch the spring beyond its limit, it stops behaving like Hooke's Law says, and might break. That's called the elastic limit. So Hooke's Law works only within the spring stretchy limits. What's crazy is Hooke's Law doesn't just work on springs. It's used in engineering to design everything from car suspensions to measuring tiny forces with sensors. So it's not just some boring textbook thing, it's legit science explaining how stuff bends, stretches, and snaps back. Darwin, you get it? Physics can be wild, but also kinda cool because it explains all the crazy bouncing and pulling that happens around us every day. Now you can impress everyone by saying, Hooke's Law states that force is proportional to displacement in springs. Boom! Science legend.